Is that looking like Power to the People with branches on it? Black Tree TV. You know, you know what's good is that I got you here with Sylvain right next to you. And one of the questions I want to ask you is, you know, you always hear these horror stories about actors on set blowing up and, and making the, the director go crazy. But you developed a relationship with him, which this allowed y'all to continue to, to work together. This is my brother. This is my brother. This, is, this, is, my brother. this, is, this dude has kept me employed. You know what I mean? He called me and said, Columbus, I have a movie I'm about to do. You have to do it with me. And I was like, really, Frenchie? He's like, dude, I, you're, you're in it with me. And, he's, and he said he was going to do it, and he did it, man. You and we did mean? it again. We did it we again. Let that magic happen again. Let it happen. Yeah, all right. So it's, it's been a pleasure. And I got to say, uh, Columbus was the first person right off the bat from the second I read the screenplay. I knew which role he was going to have. I knew why. And I knew uh, how incredible and talented he was from working with him on Stomp the Yard. So you know, it was just a blessing for me to work with him again. Well, it wasn't that much comedy in his role in Stump the Yard. How did you know that? I mean, because he brought comedy to this role, this role in, in The Losers. How did you know that he could pull that off? It's from hanging out with him oh, a little yeah. bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. It's right. a pretty funny guy. He, he really is. I'm retarded. I'm retarded. Right. Give me a couple of sips of liquor. <laughs> well, you know it is 420. I heard that. <laughs> and we're not smoking no black tree. <laughs> Well, thank you guys, man. We'd love to see y'all keep working. Talk to me about where you, how you feel about what you've been able to do in your career thus far. I think as an artist, I just feel really happy to be able to 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 pay bills off of my art, and I think that that's that's the that's the most an an actor can ask for, and to keep to keep challenging myself to remain as 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 a, more of a neutral template as possible to have new uh, to have amazing filmmakers sort of like put me together and 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 that's what I like I don't like boxing myself I don't like putting myself in categories and and um, and I just I, I approach every challenge as, as a new one and as one that could be for anybody then working on an avatar did well, wait, 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 that's good, that's good. <laughs> tell us uh, three exciting things that we can expect it's it's really it's a really light humorous action movie that has a very good story it's politically racy it's very witty but it's fun it's sort of like paying an ode to to all the 80s all the Joel Silver movies that he did from like the lethal weapons to the diehards where there was substance but you were definitely rooting for Mel Gibson and and and, and Bruce Willis but they were hilarious they were funny as hell so you, we don't have to be so heavy. We're living right now in these times where everything is always so heavy and you have to like think and your brain just blows up and all of a sudden you just want to sit down, have your popcorn, have a good story, have a girl in panties with two guns, have some guys like with nice guns and like great senses of humor and guns and explosion. I mean, and this film has it all. Thank you. Senor Morgan. Senor Morgan. So how are you doing? Thanks, brother. How's it feel to be over here on the red carpet finally? Oh, it's good, you know? God, eh? It feels like we just shot this movie, though, so this all kind of happened really quick. I mean, a year ago, I think, right now, we were just about in Puerto Rico shooting. This has gone pretty fast, so uh, I'm excited, man. I, I hope uh, I hope people like it and go see the damn thing. You come across as being such a badass all the time on the big screen, which I love. Thank you. Are you, are you a big softie? Yeah. You are, Yeah, huh? I am. I am. <laughs> I wish I could say I wasn't, but no, I'm, I'm the big, goofy, soft guy. Yeah. 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 It's acting. It's acting. <laughs> right. And when you read the script, you went over it. What was your, you know, the first thing that came to mind? It was a fun script. Yeah. You know, I read a lot of scripts. It's my job. And, you know, I, I, I find myself reading it. I get to page 10, I put it down, and I walk away. This one I, I read in one sitting. It was, uh, it reminded me of the movies that I loved when I was younger, the Lethal Weapons and the Die Hards, because I had this intense action and, and yet a sense of humor and it didn't take itself too seriously and I miss those movies and so I, I, I was all over this shit I, I really was ready to do it and, and thank God it worked out I got it the did work out, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, brother. Thanks. I'm not going to reenact any scenes tonight <laughs> but, but I like when you do I, yeah, come I on it. do a teddy bear you gonna do, do a want, teddy bear you want me to do it? yeah yeah I do alright wait <laughs> you want me to do serious? Okay. this is a scene from the movie this is a scene from the movie <laughs> the pivotal scene Gracias. <laughs> you could keep your bear. <laughs> See, that, that, oh, I love man. it. Man, it's the best invitation we have ever seen. I love it. I love it too. And I'm gonna keep doing it. Yeah, I love it. Oh man, anytime. Hey, <laughs>